Hey everybody, and welcome to my February 2021 manga and anime haul video. Uh, today I've got some pretty good stuff to open up. I've got a whole bunch of manga, I've got some anime Blu-rays and CDs, and even some other merch and stuff thrown in there. But yeah, it's been a pretty good month for pickups, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so here is a Amazon package. Let's go! Alrighty. This is e Attack on Titan box set number one. Awesome. Pretty hyped for this one. Dude, look at this lineup. <laughs> A. Alright. Very cool looking. Includes exclusive set of 18 stickers. Alright, I'll... So, open this up. I don't want to, like, scratch the manga. Let's try it. I'll open it right here. Maybe. I can go. Awesome, dude. This looks so cool. Right, so, here's the stickers. Let's take a look at these, at these stickers... All right, we got some relatable memes. We got Armin looking heckin' adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna eat more relatable memes. I'm gonna eat this, don't judge me. Cool, got some fun action pose, Aaron, right there. And, uh... <laughs> Well, that's cute. And we got the nice, we got the fun picture of, um, Levi right here. From the, uh, that's the same one they used for the season three part, uh, one box set. So, um, I like this, the picture of Levi, it's pretty sweet. Alright, nice. Some cute little stickers here, that's nice. So there's 18 of them, so... By 18, I was kind of hoping it was more of ones like this and not these little face ones, but... I mean, those are cute enough. I'll show a couple of panels from it. Don't want to give too much away, so I won't open the other ones, but, um... Awesome. Yeah, I'm a big Attack on Titan fan. Very, very cool. Alright, you got volume two. Volume three. And then volume four. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, um, I'm really happy to finally get this one. Been a lot of stocking issues with this box set, and I ordered this about a. M I first ordered this uh, a few weeks ago. I'm glad that it came on time. I didn't get delayed again. Dude, this smells like a new house. You look, you know the new house smell. It, like smells like fresh cut wood, but like super strong. That's what this smells like. Fun. Okay, so here we have a small right stuff package. I was thinking this is this is probably the box they would use for only one manga, but um, this is a bit heavier than before. So even though it's the same box as when I got those two banana fish all at once, um, this is pretty heavy. So I wonder if they crammed some other ones in here. Well, the thing is, I only had one on back order besides my slam dunk volumes. So I, I don't even know what's in here. I'm going to have to check. All right, let's take a look. I do not know what's in here. Oh, wow. It is one volume. This is a... Uh... Nice. 
We got Tomie by Junji Ito. Very cool. This one was on back order for like a month and a half. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. Cool. Yeah, I think this is the thickest Junji Ito book I have. I think the second thickest one I have is Uzumaki, and that's um, a bit thinner than this. Cool. I'll show a couple of panels. I don't want to show too much. Classic Junji Ito style here. Nice. I heard that this um, was his original work. I don't know if this is his... I don't know if this is a remake. Because I heard of that being like a... Something that never originally got published. So I don't know if they... I don't know if this is like a remake or not, but... I have to give this a read. But yeah. Heard a lot of great things about this one. This is a uh, really highly regarded series. Which I'm definitely going to give this a read pretty soon. It'll be a lot of fun. Alright, so we got another big Right Stuff package. Look at this. Look at the lineup. Alright, so I'll pull this, pull this first one out from the side. And we got Kase-san and Yamada. Volume 1. This is essentially a sequel continuation of the original Kaze-san series. And so it's Kaze-san and Yamada Volume 1. Uh, but it also says Kaze-san and Book 6. So, kind of, it's, it's both. <laughs> it's a sequel and continuation. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a Trigun Maximum kind of a situation going on. But, yeah, so uh, yeah, Kaze-san 6. I have read the first four of these. And uh, I really like this series, to be honest. It's probably my favorite Yuri right now. Very cute. Very wholesome. Um, if you want to get into a Yuri, I would highly recommend this one. And next up, we have... Full Metal Alchemist Volume 11, a uh, hardcover. This is the uh, Full Metal Edition, you call it. But yeah, this is. Most of these have been one and a half volumes. One and a half volumes of Full Metal Alchemist. So you can see. If you know the story, you'll recognize these, this scene. You'll recognize this stuff if you know Full Metal already. Um. Yeah, so this is getting pretty far into the series now. They're on volume 11 of presumably 18. Presumably 18 volumes. And uh, yeah, I, I really like Full Metal Alchemist. Very good series. I highly recommend it. Yeah, so the paper quality of these is fantastic. Um, what they, they call this arch archival quality paper. And uh, yeah, I mean... Pretty much, this is extremely thick and tough comic book paper. Super white, super bleached. The whites are super white, the darks are super dark. Let's actually get this to focus a second. And yeah, it's, um, the contrast is pretty crazy on these pages. I mean, I'm super excited to get all of Full Metal Alchemist this way. I'm, I read it on the singles. And uh, the paper quality was pretty good. I mean, it was your average um, viz paper. But um, these ones just look fantastic. I'm not the biggest fan of hardcovers, just like in general. Um, two in one, like I've said before, two in one and soft covers are my favorite. But these are pretty good. They're, in, they're not too hard to hold, you know. It's kind of the hardcover book where you can kind of like hold it like this. And flip through it just like it's a paperback. Uh, and then you move this, and it turns out this is actually a plastic sheet. This is like a wax paper plastic covered sheet. And so there's a picture. Uh, and then with this over it, then it becomes a more traditional manga cover design. Inside cover design. Which is pretty cool. Anyways, we have a stack. We have quite the stack right here. 
here we got Yurusai Yasuda, um, the two-in-one editions, this is volume one, and we got oof, one, two, three, and four. I'll move the camera back so we can see the whole thing in a minute. Awesome. So, Yurusai, Yurusai Yatsuda. These are two-in-ones, soft cover two-in-ones, which is my favorite type of manga, favorite type of manga. Another uh, Rumiko Takashi series. Pretty excited to get into this one. Uh, last time, I did not get volume one. I had volumes five through eight. And so this way, uh, I'll be able to actually start the series. But yeah, real excited. It's a, you know, a retro classic, so getting used to the art style is going to be a little different because I'm so used to uh, Rumiko Takashi's newer stuff. And so the art style being totally different is um, probably going to take a little bit of getting used to, but honestly, I hear so many good things about this series. I assume I'll love it. But yeah, so I'll show these covers off a bit better. All right, so we got volume one. Volume two. And then volume three. And I'll scoot these over a second so you can get a better look at it. And here is volume four. But yeah, real excited to get into this series. I'll, I'll probably start reading it pretty soon. I'm still on... I'm still in the middle of reading some other stuff right now, but um, this is getting pretty high up on the to-be-read list. Because the hype has been pretty good for this one. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it in the comments section and from other people, so it'll be fun. Alright, so here we are at the shelf. And yeah, so here is the Yurusai, Yurusai Yatsuda that I already have. Pretty nice lineup. I like these spines a lot. Um, the kind of muted colors they're going for is actually a really nice look. In fact, you know, I don't even think about it. I think Kazai-san and Given used a lot of the same um, muted colors. And I like those a lot. It's a nice palette. What do you say we open some boxes? Alright, so we've got a pretty big Barnes & Noble package right here. So you can see inside of the box here, they used some air bubbles on the top, and that's it. It's just the manga in here. Which is, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It's pretty easy for these to get all scratched up. But, yeah. So this is... This is just a bunch of Attack on Titan in here, it looks like. And I'll pull these out real quick. We have right here Attack on Titan Volumes 10, 11, 12, 24, 32, and 23. These aren't in order. Oops. So yeah, I'll show these covers real quick. I'll be pretty quick about it, so to avoid spoilers. <clears throat> Alright, so here's 10. Eleven. Twelve. Twenty-three. And now thirty-two. I'll... I mean, I'll show this one a little bit better. I don't want to, uh... I don't want to personally look at this, because I don't want to get a spoiler. But yeah. So that's... A we got from that package. Alright, so we have another one from Barnes. Oops. We have another one from Barnes and Noble. This one's a bit smaller. Doesn't look like there's as many volumes in this one. Let's take a look at this one. Inside we have ooh, two volumes crammed in here. 
kind of sus packaging, but hey. Eh? All right. In this package, we have Attack on Titan volumes 25 and 29. Cool. Um, so these covers. Awesome. So we're getting there. We have uh, most of the series at this point. We're getting there um, with the ones I already have on my shelf. This is a pretty big chunk of it. Alright, what time is it right now? Alright. Alright, we got. One more thin Barnes & Noble package. This is another one with like the pull tab on it. Oh, okay, so in this one, uh, this one, there's four volumes in the same size box. Just pull these ones out real quick. Alrighty, and it looks like I have volumes 26, 27, 30, and 32 in this collection. Very nice. Got to 26. 27. 30. Thirty-two, and uh, <clears throat> now we're back at where we were before. All right, that's all of them. All righty. So here is the Attack on Titan from this haul. We have <clears throat> ten, eleven, twelve, and then twenty-three through thirty-two, uh, minus volume twenty-eight. So we're missing box set number two, um, volume season two part or season one part two. And besides that, we're missing volume twenty eight, and that's it. So soon I'll have the incomplete series. Uh, I'll be able to start reading it now though, so that's nice. As of recording this, I am at volume eleven. Um, I don't know when this video is gonna get posted, so my, that probably is gonna be changed by then. But um, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So this is from the same seller as the other times. So I, this is from the same seller as the other Kaze mangas I got. But yeah, this is Kaze San Volume 5. Cool. Kaze San Volume 5. Um, I've been reading this series. I'm on Volume 4 right now. Pretty good. Uh, very cute, very fluffy. I'm excited to get more of this. Also, Volume 7 is coming out soon. I thought the series was done after Volume 6, so that's pretty sweet. There's gonna be more of that soon. Alright. We got two big packages here. Well, not too big, but kind of medium-sized ones. Been having a pretty bad day, I'm not in a good mood, so I decided to cheer myself up by opening something right now instead of waiting a little bit. Alright, so this is a one from Right Stuff. Um, let's take a look, see this here. Nothing. There's nothing in here. Okay, so we la at long last we have our wonderful days volume one and classmates volume one. 
Um, I got some of the later volumes in these series quite a while ago. I think it was, dang, was it like October? I think it was my October haul or something. But, <laughs> no, I mean, I got them now. So that's a thing. But yeah. Uh, this is a BL. This is a Yuri. They both look pretty basic, but I've heard good things about both of them, so I'm excited to give them a read. Both by Seven Seas. Alright, that was all that was in that Right Stuff package. Alright, so now we have an eBay. An eBay package right here. Alright, another paper. A lot of packages in America use paper for manga. Which is nice, because it's all biodegradable and everything. Alright, we got Kaze-san Morning Glories. So this, actually, this is all, um, I can just show the spines real quick. This is Kaze-san Volumes 1 through 4. This is another Yuri series. So we got Kaze-san Morning Glories, Short Cake, Bento, and an Apron. Uh, which is the first four, oops, sorry, there's not even in frame. Uh, the first four volumes in the series. So yeah, one, I'll show these covers real quick. They're pretty cute covers. I've heard a lot of good things about this series. A lot of people say it's like one of the best Yuri series ever made and stuff like that, uh, which I hope is true, you know. I've been wanting this series for quite a while, and it was out of stock for a very long time, and finally, finally decided to get it. Well, it wasn't out of stock the entire time, but the prices were pretty high. These were like $11 each from Right Stuff or something, so... Uh, considering most Seven Seas manga is way, way cheaper than that, that was kind of strange. So I put off buying it for a little while. But, uh, yeah, finally got them now. Now, you're probably wondering what these lines, what these, um, Sharpie dots are. Um, these are called remainder copies. This is when a bookseller, such as... <clears throat> like in America, we have Barnes and Noble. Uh, what a big, what a really big bookstore chain does when they buy way too many copies of a book and they don't think they're all going to sell. Uh, what they'll do is they'll cut their losses and then they'll sell the books at a super deep discount to insiders in the industry. Such as um, reseller stores, local stores, um, like even like you know, mom and pop style, like, bookstores. Like, they'll buy up the stock from places like Barnes & Noble. And they usually sell them for pretty big discounts to these resellers. And the reason why a place like Barnes & Noble would do this uh, is because they want to get some other money back. You know, maybe what they made trying, maybe the same amount of money back that they spent getting the stock in the first place. Uh, and then they'll invest that money into a different series. And so for Barnes & Noble, even though they may lose some money... It's worth it to them to sell those books at a loss, um, just so that they can get some money back and try something different. And so, what they do to not, like, I guess, mess up the books figuratively in, like, a business, you know? Because you can't just, like, get rid of stock super dirt cheap at a business without there being, like, some uh, issues with paperwork and stuff. So what they do is they, they essentially just destroy the books by marking them with Sharpie. And that way, uh, they cannot sell them in their store since they're destroyed. Uh, and so their only choice is to go through with selling it to resellers. And so it's basically like a, a legal thing for, you know, to appease the CEOs and stuff like that. So if, if a book has one of these types of Sharpie marks, just like a big splotch, that means it's a remainder copy. And the nice thing about remainder copies is that even though they look weird, uh, they're brand new. They're almost always never read before if you buy them from a good reseller. And, uh, yeah. So it's a good way to get a discount on new manga. Uh, the only issue is these spots. Which, if you're okay with that, because you know what they're from, uh, it's a great way to save money. So here's a small Amazon package. <gasps> it is... Let's go! It's Evangelion finally! 
so cool. All right, so this album is like a greatest hits, basically, of um, Evangelion. It's got, like, some of the classics from the original show, and then it's got some of the stuff from the rebuilds and end of Evangelion. And I, uh, I've been really looking forward to this. Some of these songs I haven't been able to get on CD before. Like, uh, Comes with Todd. That one's, that was one, that's, that's one that I've been really trying to get a, a hold of, and so I'm really happy to get the CD. Looks pretty cool. And, uh, wow. Well, I ain't waiting. I'm gonna open this up and, uh, see what's inside it. If I can. Alright, so here it is. Let's open it up. Ooh, this looks pretty sweet! Alright. Very nice. Well, this looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty epic. Alright, let's see what this, uh... Alright, so here we got the booklet. A.K.A. the cover. And it uh, looks like we got... Mostly lyrics. Is this just lyrics? Alright, cool. Alright, so some record label information and uh, lyrics. Alright, cool. It's just lyrics in this, but um, it's still cool to see. It beats just having, like, just a paper here for the cover art instead of something cool. Awesome. But yeah, I'm really excited to get this. I've been trying to get this for a super long time. Like, I, it actually, like, I ordered this once, and then the listing got removed, and that canceled my order. <clears throat> and then the, the release date got bumped back. So I was really worried it wasn't going to actually ship, but... Awesome. Here is a eBay package. I got this one. Right, uh... Ooh. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we have Inuyasha, Vol Inuyasha, the final act, complete series. Uh, so this is the final season of Inuyasha. I believe this adapts the rest of the manga that was not covered in the, the original show. I'm pretty sure this is like a recap season. Like there's, there's the first few episodes is recap and then after that it's a continuation. So yeah, cool, very cool. Let's uh, open this up and see what the disc looks like. We got ourselves a flyer for the manga. Very nice. Alright, ooh, wow, <laughs> look at this wear in here. <laughs> Yikes, this was on the inside of the case. I just opened it just now. That's weird. Alright, so we've got some cool art. Cute art right here. Um, episodes 1 through 7. 8 through 13. 14 through 20. And then the final disc, which is uh, 21 through 26. Very nice. Got some Sashoma art. Nice. Anyway. Um, yeah, right now I'm on season 4, I think. Vinyasha, <gasps> and look at this! Look at this! Hold on! Look at this! Pinch, pinch, pinch. Yeah, this isn't. This case broke. A broken case. Oh well. It this happens all the time. It looks like one of the little clips must have snapped off on the case here, and uh, yeah, right here. As you can see, this case, this clip, is gone. So. Oh well. Anyways. At least one of the clips at the top of the case works, so I can still close it and it stays closed, which is the most important part, to be honest. Awesome. So yeah, this is Session Only Season 8 of Inuyasha. Um, I'm going to watch this as soon as I'm done with the other original seasons. But yeah. Very cute. I like Inuyasha. I'm a big fan. I'm excited to watch more of this. Also, I heard Kagome got a new voice, uh, so I'm not so stoked about that. But I heard Inuyasha stays the same for just subbed and dubbed, so that's the most important. I mean, let's let's face it, Inuyasha himself is the most important character. <laughs> Beth the boy. 
All right, so here we have uh, a Japanese package. Um, I ordered this only like a week ago, so I'm like, I'm really surprised uh, whatever this has arrived already. Wow, yeah, this is a uh, quite fast shipping. Okay, so here it is. This is the Come With Me, a K on CD. So this is a CD recording of one of the um, After School Tea Time uh, live shows that was done after the anime aired. And uh, this is a rental copy. This is a rental. Um, very interesting. I did not know I was ordering a rental. I thought this was new. But, um, honestly, I don't really care. That's pretty sweet. I like history behind the products I buy, and to know that this is a rental, I mean, it's just probably got a pretty rich, rich history behind it. Um, so there's some stuff which is kind of bizarre here. So basically, let me try and show this on camera better, but this is tape. This is just masking, or this is, um, packing tape, basically. And this is the OBI strip. Now, an OBI strip is when... A Japanese CD is sold in stores, brand new, and over this, under the saran wrap, but on top of the actual plastic case, is a paper strip, which explains what the CD even is in better detail than what the spine normally would write. Um, like, for instance, like, the OBI strip looks the same as the outside case, but, like, sometimes, you know, when it's on a shelf like this in a grocery store, or just, like, a media store, it's easy to read exactly what it is. And so for a lot of collectors, they like to collect the OBI strips and then keep them. Uh, but if I normally would buy this type of product used, it wouldn't have this. Now, this rental place took the liberty of taping the OBI strip to the CD case itself, um, which is very interesting. Um, normally, you would not do this because, I mean, why would you stick tape on a perfectly normal product? But, um... Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. So, uh, let's take a look see at the DVD. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at this. Man. Anyways, um... So we got the booklet here. Let's take a look see at the booklet. Looks like character bios and lyrics. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so this, um... I don't know, part of me wants to clean this. A part of me wants to clean this because it looks like it's kind of gross. <laughs> but I don't really know, dude. We'll have to see. Anyways, I'll take a look at these at the, uh... Take a look at the track list here. Uh, looks like we got the openings... Some of the actual after school tea time songs. Got some of the after school tea time songs from the anime on disc three here. And the openings, couple of ending songs actually cool. It looks like a pretty nice list. Pretty nice lineup right here. This is sticky. That's a kinda gross right here. It's kinda scummy. I don't know what this is, probably just tape residue. At least I hope it's tape residue. <laughs> I mean, you never really know. <laughs> All right. So we have one more package here. This one looks like a video game. Alright, cool. This is my Final Fantasy 15 copy. This is the Day 1 edition. Very cool. Oh, yeah, I didn't get the the re-release of it, like the Royale version or whatever they called it. They called it like the Royal Edition or something. But um, I didn't get the remake, or I, mean, <clears throat> I didn't get the re-release of this. Um, because apparently it's the exact same disc and all they did was just add a, a code for every <laughs> DLC. And considering I don't really care to play DLCs most of the time, um, I'm like, hey, you know what, let's just get the original copy, that'll be fun. That'll be fine. And yeah, Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> the disc. <laughs> what the heck? The disc's not even the right side. 
But yeah, um, looks like it's in good condition. It includes the manual, even though it was used. So, right, so we got an ad for Zodiac Age here. Got a little flyer. Got a little code. And uh, an ad for the official guide. <laughs> I don't need that. Oh, it's kind of shiny. Look at that. It's a... What do you call it? Where it's like a rainbow effect. Nice. Anyways, I'm excited to play this. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. And I plan on making some more haul videos in the future as I get more stuff in. Also, um, as soon as I'm done reading Attack on Titan, I plan on doing a What I've Been Reading video. I'll, I'll review Attack on Titan and some other series that I've been reading um, since my last What I've Been Reading video. So yeah, I look forward to that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. See ya.